very famous soup that was actually from Daegu and that is called Yukejang. You'll see it here. Yukejang. What is it? It's a spicy beef soup and a lot of times there's a little bit of noodles in there and such but the most important thing is it's got to be spicy and it's got to be beefy. This place is the most famous one in all of Daegu and it's from Daegu. All the locals told us to come here and we've got to be in the right place. Ah, the fragrance of Yuke Jung. Yuke Jung is the famous Korean spicy beef soup and it's from Daegu and this restaurant, according to all the locals I've asked, is the best one. So we have absolutely positively come to the right place. Now, I asked the owner, where's this beef from? And he kind of looked at me like, are you kidding? And of course this stuff is Korean beef. And I thought to myself, what a dumb question. To have the best spicy beef soup in Korea? Of course it's going to be Korean beef. Are you insane? Man, it's got to be. Korean beef soup? Korean beef is the, spice, is the beefiest beef you can get. Look at these big chunks. You're not going to find chunks like this in other cities. Only here in Daegu. Why? Because they're darn proud of their UK junk and they want you to know you're eating that Korean beef. Hmm. I know I'm eating Korean beef. Mmm. It's beefy. It's and you know you think look at that big piece. Oh man, you think this is really tough. It's not. They stewed that thing until it became tender and juicy and succulent and how's the soup? Mmm. Big green onion flavor, followed immediately by a smack on the side of your head of beef flavor. Oh yeah. The locals were all right. I mean, all correct, because this Yuke Jung cannot be beaten. As I was eating that spicy beef, beef soup and congratulating myself on how great it was and how happy I was that I came to this restaurant, I noticed a bowl of minced garlic. Oh, well, I know where that goes. So I plopped it all into the spicy beef soup, the Yuke Jung, and it got even better. So bonus, if you're a garlic lover like I am, absolutely put it all in. And the second dish that they're most famous for is bibimbap. This particular bibimbap has a full egg, some stuckey mushrooms, some carrots, some shredded cucumber. This, still not sure what that is. And a whole bunch of what appears to be cooked cabbage on top of rice. Well, before we do anything, I want to see how's the rice. So if they cook the rice properly, then everything should be good. Mmm, nice. Okay, great. Chewy but firm, not mushy, not hard inside. Just right. All right, mix everything together. There's your spicy sauce right there. And the prerequisite beef, because we're at a beef restaurant. Just mix it, mix it, mix it. Mix, mix, mix. Kind of noisy mixer here, that would be me. All right, now after all that mixing, it is time to have a bite. Mighty fine rice texture. Great flavor. The vegetables are fresh and crisp when they should be, and they are nicely cooked when they should be. Excellent bibimbap. Now, is this the finest one I've had in Korea? No, it is not, but it is certainly top notch. The best ones are from Jeonju. That's because that city is famous for it, and that's where it comes from. However, if you're not in Jeonju, you're in Daegu, you want some really good bibimbap, this is the place to come. Nice hot summer day in Daegu, but remember it's kind of dry here, a little bit drier than other places, so it's okay. Anyway, we're here at Chilsong Shijang, which means seven star market. This is the biggest seafood market in all of Daegu. They've got two things which really aren't seafood related so much that are here. One of them is the absolute finest grilled pork in all of Korea. It's one of my top four things to eat in this country. The second one, was the big surprise that I found while I was kind of 
perusing this market about a year ago. Really unusual. E-Chepi-Eo. e e e e e e e e e e e e not red, it's not green, it's kind of a little light brownish. What's going on here? Well, it's actually Korean sub variety of, of Szechuan peppercorns. These are Korean peppercorns, but they go really well with Korean food and they're strangely not very numbing like the ones you'll find in China are. They're a little bit more like the ones you'll find in Yunnan province, which is at the very south, kind of central part of China. That's where Puar tea comes from. So in there, they have a little bit of a lemony fragrance to them. And boy, this is tied up tightly. All right. So here this stuff is. See that color? That's really a light color. This is from Korea, grown in Korea. It has a very floral, lemony flavor almost. Very similar, as I said, to the ones in Chishuan Bana in Yunnan. So, how does it taste? Well, just pop it in your mouth and find out. Mmm. That's so nice. It's so lemony. It's a little bit like lemon peel along with some floral notes. I'm getting a little bit of numbness right now, but not much at all. If I were to eat that much of the Sichuan ones, my tongue would be bouncing up and down right now because it's so numb. This one just gives you a tiny twinge of the numbness, but a big burst of lemony floral flavor. This is awesome. Watch out. Sichuan peppercorn. This is the fish that you use to make the soup called chuo tang. And you use, you gotta use the local peppercorns because these make the fish taste so lemony and so fragrant. These little guys, loaches, in Korean it's uh, mikuraji. We have arrived at one of the places that has one of the four best things to eat in all of Korea. The other three you'll see in different videos. So what do we have here? This is soy sauce grilled pork and this is spicy red bean paste grilled pork. Gochujang bulgogi, kanjang bulgogi. And look at the price, it's so ridiculously cheap. This is around eh, maybe $4.90 and this is around about $4.20 with today's exchange rate. So what do we have here? We have got meat. This is the spicy one. This is the soy sauce one. They go through an enormous amount of this stuff per day. We're here between lunch and dinner and normally the line will be all the way down there, but not right now. So here's where they cook the meat and they've got it over charcoal so that when the fat drips down, you'll see there's a little bit of flame in there and then that fat will drip. It'll create some really flavorful molecules. It'll go right back up into the meat and you are set. I can't help but smile because I'm about to eat one of the greatest things you can possibly put in your mouth and start chewing on. This spicy grilled pork. Fatty, fatty, spicy grilled pork. So, get a little perilla leaf, piece of garlic, piece of hot pepper, a fatty piece of pork, and get some of that pork fat on the bottom that's gotten all the smoky goodness in there. Put that right on. Anything you want to put on here, you cannot go wrong. I like a little bit of kimchi because that sourness kind of cuts through the fat a little bit. And some of these fermented shrimp because these are really savory, making the dish even savorier. And a little bit, 
of the samjang, which is fermented soybean paste with a little bit of fermented hot pepper paste and all kinds of different recipes. Anyway, I gotta stop talking and start eating because I can't wait for this. Mm. It's so awesome. It's just so awesome. I can't even describe how good it is.